Hey guys, how's it going? I know I haven't been here for a while on the channel, so I figured I might as well let you guys know what in the world is actually going on here on my channel. Da -da. All right, so as you guys have noticed, my channel has been a little bit stagnant, or actually entirely stagnant, like it hasn't done, like I have not been able to do or pur not purchase, but actually produce films. That's the P word I was looking for. I haven't been able to do any of that. Simply because I have been well, well overwhelmed with the current uh, current things I'm actually doing right now. Especially including work and school and this other stuff that I'm ambitiously trying to achieve in the 2017 year. Yay! Stress, yay! More work, yay! Alcoholism, yay! Oh, wait, no. That involved therapy. Never mind. My therapist told me not to. No. Just kidding. But, on a serious note... I figured I needed to let you guys know something, maybe. There might be a few of you out there who are like, Where in the world is Aaron? And you might have went on a search to do like, the car Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Or Where in the world's Wally? Or Wally. I think that's his name. I don't know. He, he wears colored, like, checkered, not checkered. He, anyway, the guy you have to look for that wears glasses and white and red outfit. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't. I, I don't know who I'm. I don't. English, right? Kidding. But I'm getting ahead of myself. But I figured I owed you guys something to let you know what was going on and actually let you know that I've not forgotten entirely about you guys out there on the channel in the world of YouTube. So, I have not been ignoring you. Here I am! But I'm not here to say. I'm going to try to uh, do more videos. I'm going to try to produce something more tangible and let you guys know that I'm here and I'm still actively doing stuff. But, till then... Where have I been? I got me a little list here, so I figured I'll answer some questions. Where have I been? I have literally taken on the task of going for a master's degree in international affairs involving international security and international intelligence. What does that mean overall? Well, it means literally I have devoted almost roughly around 40 to 60 hours of my week to studying alone. And by studying alone, I mean I'm in a closet by myself, completely isolated by the world and all of its terrible, scary things. No. Just mostly all I do is study and read and read and study and write and just constantly do that all the time. Everything pertaining to current affairs, which is a nightmarish situation to be in, especially if you don't want to be knowing about what in the heck's going on. It, it, it's 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 just painful it's all the time I'm always I know what in the world is going on and it's not pleasant and I don't want to do it but the fact of the matter is I'm pursuing this in order to actually get a career involving something foreign related I would love to something like that but none this need the let none the less I am trying to get a master's degree and trying to better myself and also be an enlightened citizen on stage somehow or another and contribute what intelligence I have to people and to governments and to bettering them for our well-being yeah sounds good it sounds good I just study a lot and that's what I'm doing I'm studying a lot and I don't I work also part-time so I have work and that I don't work as much as I need to but I need to work but I need to study so it's like this balancing act so then I'm balancing these two things and it's like oh I need to edit and it's like oh my gosh I got four hours I get to edit for two hours five hours six hours <laughs> I could finish two books okay well realistically a 200 page book I could probably finish it in like six hours maybe less I don't know I'm not trying to think maybe anyway yeah, with all that juggling about, it's just a lot on me, and the plate is massive, like a massive plate of massiveness. So, it, you know, there's a lot going on. So, that's why I haven't been particularly, you know, engaging you guys this late. So, I apologize on the endeavor that I am trying to better myself, but at the expense of, expense of ignoring everybody that I've ever liked, loved, or tolerated, or... I don't really love, so it's kind of more like people that I know somewhere around here. That way, maybe. Yeah, this is someone you know. I'm trying to do that. But, I'm doing this for you. 
All right, that answers that question. So, what is in store for my channel? Well, as you all have known, I do video game uh, reviews, and I also do playthroughs of video games, and I also do occasional overseas travels, and occasionally I'll do interviews or podcasts, just, you know, coming up with some random stuff. So, there's not really much of a current on my channel besides that. So, I haven't been playing video games, so I haven't been recording anything, really. So, that's one reason that, you know, the channel's been a little bit nothing to with the previous reasons I explained. But I digress. The future of the channel is that, starting with this video, I'm going to do my best to improve my effort and my energy and my planning to produce a video of any sort of content. Which I'm going to stay true to what I've been doing. I got to finish Doom, and I know that. And I'm going to finish Doom, because the game is phenomenal, and I really, really thoroughly enjoy it. The remake, it is literally, I don't care what anybody else says, it is almost, if not, a true remake of the original classic. Minus a few oddities, and I've already had detractors say, Oh, no, it's not a remake, it's its own brain. No, no, no. You can literally literally tell comparisons wise with the old one and that one that it has a lot of the same characteristics same level design in a sense level design not as in graphics wise and layouts obviously the names but everything else just just n no yeah you can't argue i'm on a video you can probably argue in the comments but i don't care you're wrong but with that being said i'm going to finish the I'm also going to be producing some other videos related to some future projects that are not video related. Hence, future stuff that I'm doing. It'll be cool. You'll like it. Everybody will like it. I'm the best at it, and I build... Never mind. That was going to go south. The channel is not dead. It will come back. And it'll come back with a vengeance of frozen sons. And everybody will be happy. Some... A lot will regret it, and others will, yeah, aside from that, it'll be fantastic. My website, also. Some of you may check it out, some of you may have not. For those that have not, don't like you anymore, I will not send you that gift or that Christmas basket this year. So, gone, get out of here, skedaddle, nobody likes you. But for those of you who are the coolest peoples that have checked out my website, I've not done nearly, I've done more on that. I've been more active on that. I have increased photos. I have increased all sorts of activities on it, comparatively, because that is so much more easier to deal with and organize and manage than as opposed to editing videos when I need to read or something. Because I can literally read a project and then type it a type, because that's all I do is read and type. Like I said, read and write. So read and type. It's easier to do stuff on the website and handling all what's going on in the website. So if you haven't checked it out yet, you need to get there and do that right now. In a second, in another tab, so just go right up, right up, right up there, click on the tab, extend it, and then put the website here. It's going to be right here, www.cohortco.com. Now, why do you want to do this? Uh, because you want to know what the hell that thing is. Yeah, get on that, and don't be a square. What in turnation are you doing with your life if you're not doing that? Right? Right. But, alright, so, big round of applause. I, 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 boom. Alright, right here, I have a shirt. But not just any shirt. You ask, what kind of shirt? It's a special shirt that I personally have designed. Took me a freaking long time to get it together, organized, and it is now on pre-order. And you're like, why would I want to pre-order that? Well, what in the whole point is it is a shirt? Well, I did fully describe it on the website, but what it is is literally a, well, it's a, it's a morph of a futuristic, futuristic culture with a samurai theme and a Viking theme, focusing on determination and uh, strength through vigilance of honor. What does all that really pertain to anything? Well, it's pretty freaking cool. I like it. It involves Thor's hammer, involves sword, uh, samurai 
It involves cool uh, armor, and it's a totally cool design, I think. And also, if you make a pre-order on it, what you're going to be doing ultimately is helping me out. Because, as, you, as I said earlier, I'm not making anything, really, money-wise. What this does, though, it helps me fund and be able to make not only videos, but helps me correlate new future projects. Also, the design of that shirt is pretty cool. It helps me do more stuff of that nature. And then with futuristic pro futuristic? No. future projects that are coming down the, uh, the pipe, this will be the usher in of those projects. It'll lead to, you know, me doing a lot more things. So, anything helps, and this is the best way to help if you want. And also, like I said, the shirt is cool. Is a cool design. There's three des uh, the same design, but it's on three different color shirts that I like all three personally. But it'll be a white shirt, like the not, not like this one I'm wearing, but the white color. Not there's it's not nothing. Well, anyway, it'll be white, black, and green. Gray, gray. Why did I say green? English. Gray. Check them out. Let me know where your sizes are. Go on the website. And it'll have all of it there. It's cool stuff. What you're doing is sponsoring and helping me out with more cool designs like that. More projects that will be coming down in the future. And especially for the biggest project probably this year or probably any time I've ever done. Which you guys will be knowing about first and foremost. Because it's in the pipe and it's going to be really, really cool. And hopefully it'll happen. So right there. That shirt. Go check it out. Go see all about it on the website that I have. Also, I, the big project I was talking about, I forgot I was going to literally be talking about it right here in a minute. A lot of it is secret, simply because it's still a massive work and project. Process, not project. But, I ambitiously am going to try to go back overseas. Yeah, I know, I'm crazy. So that shirt's going to help a whole lot if you do decide to help me out. That's one way of helping me out, for sure. I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to have my layout of what I'm doing, where I'm going, my itinerary, my budgets, everything. And it'll be out for everybody to see. And you're going to be like, why do I even give rats? Well, true, you don't have to give rats. But the process is, what is it, the project itself is going to go for economic enlightenment and the benefits that the project could lead to are going to be phenomenal hopefully culturally wise it will be just as equally fun phenomenal it'll allow me to especially with the team i'm working on i'll be able to produce film i'll be able to produce research i'll be able to produce information and connections that somebody of my relative area and knowledge southeastern kentucky Usually, it, it, it's a rarity, if that makes sense. It's not so much a rarity simply because of stupidity, but it's just mostly... It doesn't happen very often. My area does not really focus on going out of the world. But what I'm trying to do is revolutionize some ideas between two areas, making comparisons, you know? Areas of similar economic constraints, say like the southeast, southeastern Kentucky which is a area that was predominantly control or an economic system that was surround based on a resource. Coal. Boom. So, when coal's gone, what do you do? A resource economy needs a resource that's going to generate and drive innovation, not really innovation, but commerce. Because otherwise, you don't have that, there's no attention. There's no need for it. It's not producing anything that's going out to be bought back in. So what are you going to do? I mean, there's got to be money somewhere. And service economy, services in there are like, you know, McDonald's, Burger King, that sort of stuff, are not going to be your main drivers of economic output. So the cities and areas have got to find something different. They have to implement some sort of plan to not only revitalize, but make the area important to the degree that it can be not only self-sustaining, but it does not need federal assistance in the sense of like welfare or injections of funds into like, like I said, welfare projects or, you know, of that nature with uh, government spending. It needs to have something that's not temporary going to inflate the 
area, it's going to build a foundation in order to sustain the area and be able to allow people to grow and be able to allow, allow people to have sustainable living standards as opposed to being like, oh, I get a check or, oh, this government's implementing some, putting some money in for a project that's only going to last for a year and then that money's going to go, gone, that money's going to stop. All of a sudden, the people that get that money and spend that money there are either going to leave and all of a sudden you have the same similar vacuum that you normally had anyway, just like with the coal. It leaves, all the money leaves with it, all the jobs leave with it, all the workers, educated workers leave with it, and you're left with remnants of that, harsh memories, and then you get the back backlash like those areas have had, where it's really hostile to a lot of ideas. So my job, my goal is to implement, or not implement, excuse me, go to other areas of the world that have similar situations, similar issues that are not United States, that are not exclusive to the United States or this particular region. These areas are smaller areas that are rural, more mountainous, that are not maybe not mountainous, but you know, some areas that may be more out of the way for like transit, like trade routes, you know, like major cities and major road interstates, they're out of the way. Their only source of like, you know, income is based on a resource or something that, you know, that can't, that has to be found there. So then people have to go there in order to get it. Otherwise, they'll just go to big cities for whatever they want commerce in that. So I go to these areas and I live amongst them and figure out how they counter problems like, say, like southeastern Kentucky has an issue with drug-related problems involving like prescriptions and massive like fraud of that nature, prescription frauds with like doctors writing prescri prescriptions just left and right. That sort of thing, that sort of drug, a rampant drug problem. How do these areas deal with the high, the unincome, the unemployment that causes to that sort of problem? And if they have that sort of problem, if they don't have that sort of problem, how do they get the, away from that? How do they avoid that? Or what situations do they do to either eliminate unemployment or eliminate drug issues or vice versa? See what I mean? Those are some of the odd questions and tough questions I'm going to be trying to ask and be a, trying to get understandings because I did the similar project in Japan and it actually did quite well. The only downside is I did not have the resources, the team, or the necessary outlets that I needed as I have established now to do, to promote it, to encourage it, and expand the thought process and how to deal with those things. This time around, it's a Considerably different, obviously, because now I'm talking to you and I'm telling you some stuff that I'm doing. So ultimately, I'll be giving you guys more information on actually what the project is, what it's pertaining to. That is the rough idea of one of the questions, one of the major questions I'm going to be asking on this project and looking for solutions to. But also, I will be doing other, a lot of other things that are culturally enlightening, entertaining, and just all the way around pretty cool. I think I love foreign countries so and I love foreign uh, customs cultures and that sort of stuff and I love being in strange new worlds or areas not worlds areas and doing weird weird stuff and being awkward and being the strange white fellow there but that being said we'll see in the future how everything goes but also with that I'm gonna have to bid you guys adieu simply because that's all I got for you guys. So, if you can, keep up. Try to keep up. Obviously, there's not much to keep up on. Keep up with my channel. See what's going on. If you're curious about whatever I'm doing, yeah, just check out my website. It's the easiest access point to getting in contact with me. My YouTube channel does some stuff, but it's not as connected to me as my website is. Also, if you remember, get a chance to check out my shirt. Give it a look at if you like the design and you think the shirt's great value what it is, awesome, thanks. You buy it, you pre-order it, it'll help me out. I'll have pre-orders running till the end of this month, the 28th. Check it out, you know, make a purchase if you want, if you like it. If you don't, but, you know, you know someone that might, please, share it. Help out. I mean, it doesn't hurt. And if you have any questions or comments about my future projects or future, you know, aspirations of what I'm doing and such, 
or any any other questions and comments you may have right down here i you see those just as soon too so check it out or you know send me a line whatever but be sure to like this share it maybe i don't know i don't know if this is show worthy just check it out like it you know tell your friends hey that guy he's doing some cool stuff or maybe i don't i don't know do that but ultimately thanks guys for all your support and sticking around as long as you have in my absence hopefully i will be able to better alleviate it and we'll be seeing more of each other here soon so be sure to check me out keep up with my channel make sure you know you're getting all the updates and fixings about me and also check like i said check out my website don't be a stranger and until i see you guys again do your best to be nice to each other try to be classy and don't be nasty